Hi families, this is Miss Cheryl, Early Learning Specialist for the Horizons Distance Learning Program for the summer of 2020. Um, I thought I would spend some time um, creating a video to talk about um, something that you're going to probably see across the channels this summer. It's the um, Moodometer is what a lot of the teachers will be talking about. So I wanted to just give a, a, create a short video and just give you a little bit of background of where this is coming from. So it is based on um, a systematic approach to social emotional learning that was created by Yale Center for Intelligence, I think, Emotional Center for Emotional Intelligence, but it's based on RULER. And RULER is an acronym. It stands for recognizing your emotions, understanding the causes of your emotions, labeling that emotion, expressing your emotions appropriately, and then regulating your emotions. So the program itself is much bigger than the Moodometer, um, which we were going to try to incorporate um, when we, if we were able to do a person, an in-person program this summer. There's some other facets to it. Unfortunately, COVID-19 and we are distance learning, which we're going to make the best of. However, we are really are going to just focus on the Moodometer. So the Moodometer, Moodometer, if I can talk, is basically a check-in. So you might see teachers do the Moodometer um, at the beginning of a video or use it to describe their own feelings about um, a particular, I know I've seen a video already about one of the teachers or a reading specialist was using it to talk about our one school, one book. Um, so you just might see it in different formats throughout the summer. So basically you'll see them using it as a check-in. So where, so the R is where are you on the mood meter today? So for me, if I just wanted to use it as an example, I'm feeling, um, I'm probably feeling in the green. Um, why am I feeling this way? So green is calm. I'm just feeling calm. I'm kind of feeling serene. I'm not really very um, high energy right at the moment. Um, and then what word best describes your feeling? I just said it, calm. Calm would be the way that I'm feeling right at the moment. So, and then, so that would be the R-U-L of the ruler. So then E becomes it, how am I expressing that feeling? So hopefully I'm expressing that feeling. I'm calm. So I'm hopefully it's coming across in our, my video that I'm feeling calm. Um, it could be if it was a different emotion that I'm not expressing it in a proper way. And that's where students, there's a conversation that happens with, with children and students to be able to how to um, express that feeling appropriately. And then the last piece, the other R, is how do you want to feel? So maybe I'm feeling calm right now, but I really just want to feel excited and I want to be ec ecstatic or I'm going to move up into the yellow. And then what could I do to kind of make that shift? So again, it's just being able to place your, your, your current um, emotion and, and putting a feeling to that emotion and then placing it on the chart, depending on your energy and pleasantness level. So for the little little kids, like the early the early learning kiddos, what will probably what you'll probably see is something that looks like this. So it gives them a um, an emoji to kind of put with that emotion that they might be having. So as you can see, the up in the upper can I use my mouse? Nope. Yeah, up here, this is kind of pink in this particular graphic, but it's really is supposed to be red. So this is maybe when you're feeling furious or nervous or worried or angry, but it helps the littles get kind of get a picture, get a face to kind of match that emotion because sometimes they have a hard time um, placing a, an emotion, a feeling word with an emotion that they're having. Over here in the yellow, it's more cheerful, ecstatic, happy, excited. Blue, you might be feeling sad or lonely. And then, like I mentioned before, green is kind of the at ease, content, serene. So, um, again, for the, for the early learning channel, you, you probably see um, the teachers using this particular graphic for the mood meter For the older grades, for intermediate, we start moving into using the, the words instead of pictures. So, some words for red would be mad, worried, angry, green. Um, Yellow would be brave, confident, energized, pumped. Blue would be sad, bullied, tired, depressed, and green, calm, included, peaceful, open-minded, those types of words. So again, it's just take, look, reflecting on the emotion that you're having and then trying to put a feeling to that emotion and putting it on the chart. And no, the, the whole key behind ruler is that all emotions are valid. Everybody has all different types of emotions. It's being able to identify them correctly and share them correctly and appropriately with, with others. So as you move out of intermediate, maybe get into middle school, 
we get a little bit more words that um, kind of express our feelings, our emotions. And again, depending on your energy level and level of ple unpleasantness, it kind of goes up and down and you find yourself on the grid. Um, oops, did I go the wrong way? I think I did. I did go the wrong way. And so then the last um, part that you might hear uh, teachers talk about are strategies that you can use if you're in a particular zone and you don't want to be there. So maybe um, a student might say, you know what, I am feeling angry and I'm feeling angry because I didn't want to have to get up today and I just wanted to sleep in and my mom made me get up and I didn't really want to. So I'm just angry right now. And what are some, so what are some strategies that you could use? Because I don't want to be angry. I'd rather move over into the green zone or the yellow zone. So what are some things I could do if I were feeling angry? So I could take deep breaths. I could count to 10. I can count backwards. I can play with Play-Doh or draw. I could take a walk. I could write down, if you're old, the older kids, you could write down the problem and throw it away. Sometimes people write it down on a piece of paper and tear it up and then throw it away. So different, just offer some different strategies. And again, for each of the zones, because maybe like the green zone, you're feeling calm, but maybe you want to be energized. Maybe you want to move up into the yellow zone. So what could, you, what could I do if I wanted to get up into the yellow zone, if I wanted to feel more energized? Maybe I could get up and move around. Maybe I could go get a drink of water so that gets my body moving. It's however you want to move in between the different zones. And again, the, the key piece to this is that um, all emotions have a feeling associated with them and all those feelings are valid. It's really being able to identify them um, and share them appropriately. Let me see if there's another slide. Uh, these are just different tools. So, nope. So those are the strategies. So if you have any questions over the summer, feel free to reach out to me. Again, I'm Ms. Cheryl. I'm the early learning specialist. My email is probably somewhere in the newsletter. You can certainly reach out to me if you wanted more information or if you just need me to clarify anything. Um, but in the meantime, um, I'm in green. And as I've talked to you, I've actually kind of moved into yellow. I'm getting very excited about our summer together. So I look forward to, meet, to talking with everybody and interacting with everybody. See you later.